this is a project we did last year um, for one of our most commercial clients. And they're called Photophone. They try to sell you all kinds of gigabytes, tablets, smartphones. Um, but commercial brands also like to be nice. And they ask us, you know, can you come up with something nice, something emotional? Because every brand tries to be emotional nowadays, try to be your friend, etc. So you're a bit scared, actually, of that briefing. Because somebody that is super commercial cannot go super emotional from one day to the other. It's a very thin line, and people will see it, and people will see that you're fake if you are the sort of hard salesman one day and the other, other, other time you are a sort of friendly, nice guy. Um, and the other side, they also wanted to make technology more human, again, very soft, you know. One day they tried to ask us to make commercial selling thousands of uh, euros on uh, gigabytes, and next day, this. But still, um, they had a program internationally, it's called Photophone First. And instead of sponsoring Formula One, they put all the sponsor money, and that's a good thing, onto helping people do things for the really first time. Um, and we came up with this idea. It was called the CI implant. Well, actually, we did not come up with the implant, but do you know what this is? Yeah? This is like the sort of latest modern version of uh, hearing aids. It's a chip in your brain that connects to something you could put on your brain. And it's only recent technology. And every year in Holland, there are about 200 people that get this thing. Um, and we were thinking, we saw a video of this, and we were thinking like, what would happen if you could hear for the first time? You know, that, that, that must be magic. And <clears throat> then we thought like, what, what, we, we thought like, what, what should, could we do something with it? Could we, could we really find something, uh, something, find somebody that gets the CI implant? Um, and what would be the best experience to hear, well, we thought like, well, that might be a concert, because the best experience you can have in hearing is probably, besides talking to somebody, is music, and the best version of music is often the concert. So, our idea was first concert, which was a concert for somebody that just got this CI, and we spent two months on researching, on finding somebody that wasn't a pity somebody, somebody that wasn't like, sort of, pulling a trick or trying to be sort of, uh, um, yeah, pitiful. Um, somebody with energy, and we found her via Facebook, via all kinds, kinds of groups that have these CIs. Um, and we asked her, like, did you ever go to a concert? And she was telling, yeah, well, I go to a concert in one week from now. And my CI is just ready to do that. And, s and we said, don't go, because we have something better for you. Uh, and we made a special concert for her that was completely made for her CI. Uh, have a look at the movie because it will explain a lot. This is the girl we found. She's 19 years. And the interesting backstory is that her brother was studying on the conservatory. She's the only deaf girl in house. So all the time of her life, she saw her brother playing on a guitar. And the only th way for her to listen to music was to hold the hand on the guitar so she could feel the vibrations, etc. Um, and her brother was a big fan of a local Dutch musician called Kiteman. He runs a hip-hop orchestra. And when we found her and we heard that her brother was on the conservatory and that he was a big fan of Kiteman, and which he always told about, we combined the two, or especially Kiteman, and um, we made this into a, I think, pretty nice story for a very commercial brand. Have a look. Wij vinden dat een liedje van de Beatles zeker niet mag ontbreken. Heaven will fade me van John Hyde. Magic van Coldplay. Vodafone benaderde Colin Benders, beter bekend als Kiteman, met één vraag. Wil jij als eerste een aangepast concert componeren voor Vera?
The thing with this project is it's such a thin line between abusing people for a commercial brand and being honest. This was completely honest, nothing is staged. We spent three months in filming her. There's a longer version which is still online, which if you are interested. Um, she had the joy of her life. She is now a sort of spokesperson of the CI club. She, she became a sort of CI celebrity, how weird it sounds. So she really, really enjoyed it. She, she, she thought it was a great experience. And um, I think the people liked it as well. And they didn't find it strange for Vodafone to do something like this. Or at least we tried to keep it really, really honest and not abuse her. To end up with something more light, this is a project I came along three weeks ago in Belarus, in Minsk, um, it's from Russia, um, because I started saying that if you can not put it in a tweet or in an Instagram or in a very short message, you are nothing. Well, this is the most simple idea I came across. If you would see these words, all six hot naked guys, latex ass with animals positions, oh my God. I'm going to show it to you now. And you're missing the picture with it. You might be quite curious what the picture brings you if you're a boy. Background. No one likes waiting, especially when it's about mobile internet. Objective. Everyone wants it to go like this. But only 4G internet lives up to the task. This is what we had to tell our subscribers. Idea. We got the hottest girls in Russian show business and the most popular Instagram bloggers. Victoria Bonya, Alyona Vodanayeva and Anna Sidakova to upload their most staggering pictures. With the hashtags... Sexy, oiled, myself, six, hot, naked, pumped up guys, red latex, ass with animals, Ooh. cat, bear, horse, crazy <laughs> positions, wow, amazing, oh my god. And they looked like this. Yes, this is the photo, not a connection problem as you may have thought. The visitors were at a loss, and the number of comments grew further and further. But two hours later, our beauties uploaded a video reveal containing the MTS 4G ad. And they apologized for creating too much expectation among the subscribers. Oops. Results. <coughs> Sorry. Results. You get the point. Music, please. Simple, nice. To summarize it for you, because you don't, you will not remember more than three things tomorrow, probably. A strong bait. Please keep it in mind. If you think of an idea, and if you cannot summarize it, and if you cannot tell it to your friends, maybe in one or two lines, it's probably a bad idea. Minimal interaction. Reconsider every click. Really important. Don't harass people. That's the popularity of online videos due to the fact that people only have to click it. And the last one, think where you want to be. For example, this last example, very simple Instagram, nothing more, exactly the right medium. It can be anything. You know, the, the first one, um, the bacon one, it could have been a great TV ad as well. So think where you want to be. This was my talk. Thanks a lot. Obrigado. Obrigado.